Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today we're going to discuss what should I do if my date isn't going well? A lot of times when we first get on a date, it, the biggest fear for us is what if I don't like them right away? What am I going to do? How am I going to get out of it? Well, I always suggest to people that on your first date that you don't make it for more than an hour and you just meet them for coffee or a walk, nothing that costs any money. Because the minute that there's money involved in a date, you have this obligation or you feel like you should stay because they've spent this money. So you don't really owe them anything other than to be polite. So give them the hour. Get to know them for who they are, ask the right questions, listen to their answers, listen, listen to their body language, watch how they react. Maybe you're pre prejudging things too quickly. So that's why I always suggest giving an hour and a coffee date where there's no sort of intimidating setting. There's nothing that you have to worry about getting dressed up for. You just go and you be yourself and you be authentic to who you are. Always be that person. But don't put yourself into situations that are going to cause you stress because you feel obligated to do something. You don't have to feel obligated to see them again. You can remove yourself from the date, say, say a nice goodbye to them, and if they call you again or text you, just tell them honestly that you don't feel any connection with them. I know it sounds really harsh to do this, but it's better to do that than to have them being led on that you are interested and that maybe you text back a little quick blurbs to them and this keeps them thinking that oh maybe there is something be honest about it just say you know i'm really sorry i just didn't feel this that we were on the same page or we had similar interests it doesn't have to be a slap in the face because you don't want to see them again i really really appreciate when someone's been honest to me and said there wasn't a connection. I appreciate their honesty. I like that fact because when we date, we're not there to date everybody and we're going to fall in love with every single person we meet. That's what dating is all about. It's to meet somebody that you feel a fit with. And if you don't feel one with them, don't worry about it. But be honest. Don't leave anybody hanging. If they're blatantly rude to you right away, you don't have to stay that hour. You just tell them that you don't feel comfortable with how they're speaking to you, that you have respect for yourself, and you just don't see yourself you know, with them because of how they're talking to you. You don't have to stay in these situations. And don't put yourself in an unsafe scenario if you feel that they're getting aggressive or they've got abusive language towards you. So dating should be fun. It should be exciting. It should be that you look forward to seeing this person because you've had a bit of a connection with them already by talking to them for a little bit or you like their profile or there's something about them that has intrigued you to want to see them. Make the best effort you can. Don't make a judgment in the first five minutes of seeing them. Sit down, let them say a few things. Maybe they've got this great sense of humor that just lures you towards them. But give them some time. Don't just make a quick assessment in the first five minutes. But don't put yourself into situations that are going to cause you drama because you don't know how to get out of it. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Thank you to all my new subscribers here on YouTube. I really appreciate your support. And keep your questions coming. This was a great question from one of my viewers on my advice column at cybersue.com. Thanks everyone. Please like the video and comment below. Thanks.